Go. Okay, we are on the air now again. I'm looking at uh, Danton's team. I really approve of his amount of tackle on the Mighty Blow glitches. Yeah, three tackles and two with Mighty Blow. One is blotched. Also, no, some wrestles scattered around. Yeah. And a couple of agility force in a catcher and one of the bleachers, uh, which give him some flexibility for a uh, for a ball place. Yeah. Yeah, that no. should give him a nice amount no. of mobility. I remember when we tried to commentate the first game, uh, we saw also um, no uh, dirty players in this team. I mean, many human coaches recommend to uh, sprinkle at least two or three dirty players around. Yeah, I was a bit surprised by that. I mean, humans. All they have is their strength, access, speed, and access to cheaper players than most, so fouling, naturally. Yeah, and uh, four rerolls, also a bit unusual for human teams, but um, Danton likes his rerolls, especially with uh, elves, obviously. Not because he likes risk, uh, as we mentioned last time, but, uh, you know, shit happens, basically. Yeah, I don't like four rerolls. Three should be enough. You really need to put that extra one in. He could use leader for that, for cheaper. Yeah, well, yeah. For elves, I I see a point in having four, but uh, for humans, yeah, probably debatable. Interesting. He has two blitzers with dodge, so he's quite flexible, hard to take down. And though his ogre is new, it should be a little bit of work for the um, Dreamy's team. Yeah, he has four blotch or or roach players, right? Four of them. And, All right. Alright, how, ma how many tackles ready to start. How many tackles does uh, Dreamy has, by the way? Yeah, I'm just checking. One on the war dancer. Yeah, okay. He, he has two. Has plenty of wrestle. Yes, that's true. Lots of wrestle. And uh, Dreamy only has uh, one apparently, so it will be a hard time for him. Well, but as we were saying, yeah, Dreamy has lots of wrestle and uh, yeah, street ball as well. Dreamy does have two guard on his elves, um, but one is on a kick block lineman, so that's not as mobile as they could be. Yeah, but man, that tree is awesome. I mean, I just. I'm just looking forward to see this tree do something in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't I guess wait Dreamy to too. Is, some, is somebody keeping an eye on when they start? Guys, uh, I just challenged him and um, we're in the inducement screen now. Okie dokie. Going in now then, thanks. Um, Danton, you can switch off of these channels uh, uh, by now. I might. <laughs> Cheater. No, I just wanna. I'll just stick around uh, and make sure that you guys manage to connect to it. Yeah, thank you. M meanwhile, you could justify your lack of dirty player. Oh, I do have a dirty player. Oh, we missed it then. All right. <laughs> yes, level the righteous. righteous. Only one. Ah, there it is. Yeah, perhaps I automatically skipped over, skip over alignment. <laughs> you should go nicely with my bribe. I do like your amount of tackle. You knew you were going into elf-infested territory. So no uh, wizard, no difference enough for a wizard. No, just a hundred k exactly. So bribing. How annoying is this uh, constantly refreshing screen in the live games table? Yeah, that it doesn't even keep the same order. Yeah, it's pretty irritating. And for those who just joined, it's me, Juriel, and 
Uh, Viajero narrating, I'm Levy. I am Uriel. And I am Viajero. If you have questions or comments, uh, please type them in the chat screen during the game and then we'll, uh, we'll discuss and, and uh, talk about it in game. Hopefully people can keep track of us by our accents. Yeah, in my case that shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> I think uh, I should point out that there's 12 elves against 14 humans, so you know. Yeah, good point. I can still see the game, uh, can you guys see it? Nope, nope. not showing up yet. It's uh, just finished loading. We're you know we're at the just before the kickoff formation screen now. Okay. I can it see it now. Might be a bit of a delay. I can see it now. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. And connecting, easy. It was Barbusian's fault. I knew it. <laughs> Alright then, I'll, uh, I'll leave you guys to it. Cheers, good luck. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah, we can see the bribe there on the left. One assistant coach, one uh, cheerleader. Alright, humans have more players and more fan factor. Yeah, I think this is gonna go pretty hurtful. Yeah, but that uh, one turner can make the difference as well. So let's see how he uses it. Hello, yeah, Majesty. It depends on. First comment in the chat. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome. It depends on uh, when he fields him. I mean, only 12 players. He has to field him uh, once he loses anyone. Guys, I'm gonna fast forward to catch up to the live action and I'll let you know where I am. Okay, I'm there. I am one minute in the countdown to uh, Blood Bombers to uh, set up. 50 seconds now. Hello, loophole. Trouble, scrabble. I am now 40 seconds on the countdown for Blood Bombers to set up. Danton has chose to uh, receive wisely, methinks. Probably a slow grind. And Dreamy has set up asymmetrically on his left flank with the tree in the center. Receiving first, uh, it's a bit 50-50. If he kicked first, he might be able to pressure the elves into scoring fast, which means more grind for them. Evil Squall, well, yeah, it's, um, it's a formation that protects the kick players of, uh, of elf, elf teams, uh, and then you can decide to do it uh, center or asymmetrically. Um, Jimmy has decided to offer his right flank to the humans. Yeah, asymmetric uh, defensive formations, they also... Well, if the opponent goes heavy on the line of scrimmage beating, it can leave their side open for well, elves to swarm through. Yeah. Something else I saw in Dreamy's team is that he's got two throwers, um, none of them with accurate. Um, so this probably points to an eminently running game for this for this team. Of course, with so many catchers, he can just well, he has the range to just hand off basically anywhere. Yeah, and uh, he's he's gone for blotching across the board as soon as possible, as you can see in all his players. Or Roch. Wrestle in all the linos for the most part and blocking the throwers. Interesting, uh, humans seem to be fielding both of their catchers on offense. 
Yeah, catchers tend to be on offense, no? Well, it depends. If everything goes to plan, you can basically just move slow, move the cage slowly ahead. Yeah. So there's less need for movement eight high chinks. So just one catcher would do. All right. For some reason. Dreamy is taking all his four minutes when he's got. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry, no, I miss the, <laughs> I miss the setup of Danton. High kick, and he gives it to the catcher. All right, that's solid. Yeah, agility four, blotch, sidestep. Yeah, safer on him than on the uh, thrower. Absolutely. The only thing he has to make sure is that he is not exposed to any direct blitz because it's still strength too. But yeah. The thrower has block, so 15 SPP. Not not fully new, no. But yeah, clearly Danton doesn't use the passing game too much with his team. Uh, selected block before accurate on the thrower. Yeah. Crowding crowding the tree is always a bit risky, especially one with block and pro. Certainly not getting far with his blocking so far. No. Well, he's got one more tackle to, to try on that line. There you go. Yet. Ah. And I presume he's on a blitz with the left blitzer, um, Father Sim Smasher. Push ball, yes. <laughs> it won't work against the tree, though. Either it falls down or it stays where it is. I think he should have rather taken a hit against the catcher. His sidestep can cause problems later on. Whereas a wrestle can cause problems now, right now, if it's a both down result. Yeah. Okay, caging in the middle. I hope that that tree gets knocked down. Yeah, he's <laughs> certainly putting a lot of faith into the ogre. Yeah, bleaching with uh, Sim Smasher, as expected. All right, first cow of the game. And uh, Sally fourth, Dodge Wrestle Lino goes down, baby. Oh! Bonehead! Yeah, this is basically what I meant. Well, the good news is that catcher is agility 4, so uh, if the tree wa does what it's supposed to do, it's not the end of the world for Danton. Yes, Majesty, uh, Dreamy has been playing with one in the last three games. He hasn't managed to raise the gold to buy a new one yet, from what I saw. Okay, guys, got a bad news. I couldn't get into the game, so you're only two narrators for now. Oh dear. 
this is so annoying because you never know why these things happen is is there a quota for people watching or or is just your ports uh, or somebody else's yeah ports? we others got in fine a bit weird as evil squall mentions i'm totally expecting the tree to step in and the war dancer to try a tackle hit He would be exposing that word answer to retaliation though. His only word answer. So uh, yeah. I would also be more prudent myself. <laughs> As it turns out he exposed her anyway. True. Well, yeah, still it's a bit um Escorted, let's say that that bleacher doesn't have a guard. Oh, that's a tough choice. Strength four, lineman or war dancer, which to take down and fall. Okay, and Dream is falling back in uh, in lines a little bit. Question is, will he follow through with the tree after that push, or remain there? I will probably remain where I am. <laughs> okay. No, he did that as expected. He's just trying to lo uh, lock down two or three of the players. Yeah, and he's got uh, out of reach of the ogre. Yep. So they can't clear him out very well. That's the risks of uh, well crowding around the tree to take him down. Yeah, Evil Squall, he could have tried that leap with the War Dancer. But, um. He would have meant to uh, heavily expose it, even uh, if it, uh, the hit had worked. I guess. <laughs> you prefer the balls to the wall style, right? Okay, I think it's the strength fall line off that's going down because he can take him down into the middle of the cage to be formed and foul him there while still protecting the catcher. What is this? Huh. Okay. Hit in the tree and down it goes. Not sure I like not using stand firm there. Oh, he's trying to avoid the foul. That's yes, what it's about. Yes, exactly. Yes, I, I, I do the same as well many times. I, I calculate what is the tile with less people <laughs> adjacent and then decide if I want to use stand firm or not. Yeah, I just figured he could um, keep more people stuck to him next turn, but yeah, let's risk it this way. Then don't prefer to go right. To go right. Okay, a lot of pushes, huh? So far, except that KO we saw. Um. Uh huh. The foul Gonna is foul coming. Anyway. The foul is coming. <laughs> there you go. Yes, evil squall, not one power. So how many how many men you need to have a a six or five plus armor roll on that tree? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. That's enough. Five is enough.
dirty player, your roads are, well, it's much heavier, he but you manage to get them off the bridge than yourself. Yes, he needs to take care of the uh, that side of the cage though, if for whatever reason the bribe doesn't work, and the catcher might be exposed. Wow, <laughs> nice foul. Oh, nice. <laughs> Shame, bugger, I wanted to see that tree in action. Come on, Danton, that's not fair. And the cage is exposed. <laughs> and they will pay for it. Why he didn't, he could have moved the, um, at least the thrower back. So, uh, wow. Uh, no, that wouldn't have prevented the, uh, the two die bleach anyways. Now it's all down to the bounce. Yeah. It should favor Dantons. Trippy doesn't have any agility 5 player, does he? No. Well, lucky for him. Yes. Well, chances were, eh? I mean, he was completely surrounded by humans. Well, chances of it landing on the other catcher were just 1 in 8. That's true, yes. The catcher one was lucky. Leaving it all down to an actually the three dodge. Oof, not liking that. And and what do you think next? Uh, I think that war war dancer is going down hard, <laughs> very hard. <laughs> three rage. So, exactly how much? Team value is that three? Oof. Five skills, no? Or four? So that's 200 and uh, 200. Yeah, two of them are doubles. Okay, that's true. So 220. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot to pay for one turn of action. There we go with the side stepper. Yeah, now Dreamy has to be careful not to fill too many tiles, otherwise the side step will be rendered useless. Basically, that's the problem with side step. Typically, I like to double mark my my opponents, but uh, with a side stepper, you have to be careful. Otherwise, you you can't uh, use side step. Well, yeah, Dreamy has to has to decide whether he brings people one step away from the catcher to this. Um, take away from dice with which <laughs> the size stepper will be getting blitzed. Exactly. Yeah, he's, he's gone for the double marking, which is not a bad idea. It limits the value of sidestep, but uh, that's an agility 3 catcher after all, so it's always good to double mark those guys, if you can. Yeah, now with the war dancer there and uh, that line elf covering the catcher, they can't block the paths. Yeah, absolutely. quite as easily. He can hand off to the catcher, uh, yeah, but then he has to stay there. Of course, it is another possibility they could just uh, reform their cage around uh, the old catcher, just block away the others. You can also try um, a chain push somehow, but it's gonna be tough because. The way to do it is not with side step there. Well, I mean, you could if you fill the tile uh, to the south of the ball carrier, you could eventually. Uh, it, it wouldn't matter uh, the side step. Uh, but the thing is that he cannot bleach easily Duchess of Fubar, uh, Lino number two in Dreaming's team, uh, in the way uh, to push out also the catcher, the side stepper. He will need to clear uh, the path uh, north of that position a little bit. And I don't think he can do it easily. So he may, ha he may, he may have to go for the uh, <laughs> handoff. Yeah, I'm curious to see if he goes for another actually the three roll. Well, 
Well, let's see. Uh, player one, Father Sin Smasher, has guard, so he can move it northeast, marking both the thrower and the lino northeast. He can block with uh, number three, Father Charge Mace, to get the way. Yeah, the clear into route. Yeah, it just it just feels like a waste not to blitz with his mighty blower. True, and it's a bit convoluted. He he may not move too far away and may still be exposed at the end of the turn, anyways. Interesting turn, no doubt. <laughs> At least Dreamy has done something that uh, makes Danton uh, have to think what to do, as opposed to the simple option of bleaching that war dancer out. Now he has to worry with a uh, few other things. Manskin, uh, yeah, um, I don't think it changes things much. If anything, probably it, it uh, reaffirms Danton's strategy that he should continue the grinding, probably, I think. Uh, it's still turn three, so Danton doesn't have, at the moment, much hurry to move out of that position. Uh, he can just simply block back out with the elves and, and remain in that area. He doesn't need to, he does, he's not in a hurry to move yeah. out. Now that now that he did manage to ensure the tree out, it was a well high reward play. Yes. <laughs> that paid out really well. Now, if he tries to block that sidestepper with the ball carrier, that would be a bit risky proposition. Let's see what it does. He needs to get someone south of the ball carrier to prevent the blitz there. Yeah, and he can do it. He has a couple of pieces, he can still move there. Yeah, he's gonna hand off to the other catcher, pretty obvious now. <laughs> yes. Although that catcher is not quite caged though. If he hands off, the agility for catcher will not be fully caged. So he may just stay put, actually, we'll see. Ah, he's blocking! Risky! Oh, that works. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a push is all he needed, but um, that catcher is still a wrestle one, so... <laughs> Yes, uh, Squall, he's got uh, a guard. Only one, actually, around the ball carrier. And he has to use the bribe in a, in a foul to a relatively meaningless no, roach. That wasn't lineup. exactly worth it. No, and he wasn't even with the dirty player. Yeah, I agree. It was not too uh, interesting as a foul. He will continue fouling? Probably. He's got the yeah, bench. He, ca he can continue fouling. He has 14 players versus the elves 11. Absolutely, Majesty. Yeah.
you know, if the elves uh, 2D against block with the catcher down there, yeah, you can if they get the thrower out of the way, they could split. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was also watching the same uh, play. Yes. <laughs> That possibility exists. He only needs to mark the. Oh uh, ho ho! That's wow. the mighty blow. Yes, mighty blow guard and tackle to boot. Yeah, that was another reason why I didn't want him to put him there. Leap. Okay. And that's a one die. No, two die against. Nah, two deer against so much guard. Oh wait! No, there is no guard. No guard on that side. This is a bug, or Whoa. A, we're looking at a bug right here. Oh no, sorry, I no, no, no. It's a two day. It's a two d four. Obviously, it's a two. It's a two d in favor of the elves. Yeah, it is. I was shocked. There was no guard placed there. Yes, only to the right. So now it's a wonder. A one die with wrestle on the ball carrier. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here he comes, defender down oh. straight. Yes. Well, that was a harsh turn for humans. Their own fault. And. Here he goes, elves doing what they do best. Let's see what option he's got. Yep. He got the tree out, big reward. He let himself get into this position. Uh. Three rich never pays. <laughs> yeah, now Dream is counting the tiles because number four, Father Evilbane could reach him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he can still reach him. Not anymore if he makes that last go for it. Yeah, he's clear. Now he's clear. Now what that Anton needs is a chain push to get there. Uh, which uh, I wanted some. I wanted an elf to die on a GFI. Oh well. Humans can pressure them into scoring easily, and then they get another chance to beat down the line of scrimmage and score. Yeah. And this time the elves have to expose their one turner. Absolutely, with uh, only 12 players now, he has to. There he is, looking anxiously on the sideline. Mr. Hannah Solo or Mrs. Hannah Solo, I don't know. They totally need to get more players down there. You can still mark that catcher at least with uh, Father Evil Bane, which is got tackle. The lack of mighty blow is so going to bite them now. I'm sure he, he had two mighty blows, no? Oh yeah, he still have one. On the floor on the floor. Dancer goes down. And probably now it's curious to see if he tries to blitz the catcher down so he can get more fouls going. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 
So he's got the dirty player for last. Yeah. Yes, Majesty. The score is probably a given. So uh, he's trying to do damage. Wow, nice. Nice uh, casualty there. Yeah. Key catcher. So and now, and now the so foul. This was another, another ambitious on the cast front turn, but it seems to be paying off. War Dancer KO'd. Alright, we'll see how many of them recover for next try. Two KOs and two casualties. Not bad for uh, four turns. Jimmy has to score, has no option to stall there, obviously. He can be thinking about bleaching something before doing that. <laughs> yes, it would be an epic still. By the way, just so we are all aligned in uh, timing of the game, in the replay, I am 3 minutes and 20 seconds down on the Dreamy's uh, clock for the Blood Bombers. Yep, yep. Okay, humans are on a clock once they have score now. They have four turns to score back and they would need to get rid of the one turner while yeah. they're doing that. Yeah, because they've received. Um, so if, if they don't get rid of that otherwise one turner... Otherwise they're going into the second... Exactly, yes. Yeah, otherwise they're going into the second half 2-1 down. Yeah. And the elves will be receiving, so... Mm. And Dreamy has to save a reroll for that one turner attempt. I mean, uh, yeah, that's, at least that's what I typically do. If I have a, a one turner option, I always keep one of the, my rerolls for, for that. Uh, Majesty. Well, it could be an easy game, but still, there is a one turner in the field. And uh, it has plenty of uh, blotch and broach, so uh, even with seven or eight players, you know, we can push it to six. Elves, good elves, can can still be very competitive. So, uh, I wouldn't write off uh, Dreamy's team yet in this game. Only one cow come back. And I'm done for a minute. And it's not the word answer. <laughs> well, on the other side of the coin, you can say the word answer is safe for one more drive. By the way, since uh, Lepe couldn't connect, um, if any of you guys want to jump in the chair and comment with us uh, and speak on Ventrilo, uh, you guys are welcome. There is any volunteer. Feel at home. We don't bite. <laughs> Ach so, wunderbar. Okay, so Dream is still setting up asymmetric at the loss and protecting uh, his one turner, obviously. Right at the back. Yes, death to the one turner. I'm sure that's in Danton's mind at the moment. 
but he also has to worry about scoring. Um, what would you do if you were uh, dreamy now? Would you just move your pieces away and let uh, Danton score happily? Hoping for a uh, one turner? Or defend solidly? Well, at least as solid as, solid as you can do it with no war dancers, no tree and only uh, 8 players well 9 actually 9 players is not a bad number for elves to defend with yes majesty that one turner doesn't need any push any chain push he can do it uh, like a man without no help but as I was saying I would Definitely consider keeping a reroll at least because three go for it are a lot of go for it. So, yeah, Danton now has to find that fine balance between uh, scoring and killing that one turner. Killing that one turner is not gonna be easy uh, because Dreamy will not expose it unless he has to. And another casualty. AV6 though, that's one of the gimps. Yes. Alright, I'm back and just in time to see an insured elf. Yes, the AV6 one, which was at the loss, doing lost duty. Big shock. Another KO. Alright, so every elf going down and out of the pitch is one of more opportunity to get a clear All line right, of sight really to the uh, establishing one Establishing control. Yes. So far so good. He needs to get lean line of sight to the one turner during this drive. If possible. I still w I wanted to revisit the whole three man. It was three rage angle. There's so many teams I see going well out of position just to, to get a hit on a three man. That's at best 50-50 chance of getting him down. I just I tend to throw a line man at him and go the other way. It, it doesn't always work as well as it worked in this game, that's for sure. You're right. Yeah, this was the best case scenario and it still left the humans uh, badly out of position for two turns. Yeah. I mean, putting a loner or a, or a meaningless lino with it is one of the best options, no doubt, especially when you have a 14 roster. But it paid out, you know. It paid out, it only cost them one touchdown. <laughs> yes, well, uh, I don't think um, that's directly linked to that effect, to that fact, no? It took the guard out of position, and the elves yeah. only got the 2D against. It would have been 2D against if there had been anyone there, but no. Yeah, true. Could have very well the bane of that uh, TD, yeah. <laughs> Six elves on the pitch. And going down fast. Yeah, as I said, they need to be angling for the movement 10 catcher and then they're in the clear. Uh -huh. Going back with the thrower. But has no leapers anymore. I'm not sure why he doesn't go for the caging midfield. After that, he only has three turns to move the ball all the way up to TD. is just right to avoid uh, three plus rolls. He's got the agility for catcher in the middle. 
and the agility for Bleacher a bit forward. Dead! Oh, Lino oh, dead! Oh. <laughs> oh, good job, Apo. Saving a, a Roach Lino there. Yeah. That was a pretty immediate decision. Yeah, I think uh, Dreamy is looking at his dwindling number of elves and he says, I need some numbers. Um, as opposed to, I'll save my precious War Dancer or One Turner later. So he's favoring numbers now, I guess. True, true. That uh, One Turner doesn't have sidestep. So if he gets his it's numbers even further down. Oh, yeah, true. If he, if he gets them down to five people, it gets a lot harder to test. Yes. So he needs some numbers to get that one turner going. And, yeah, and, can't, and, yeah, can't chain push him with just one push result. Need at least two. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry, no, what I'm talking about. That, that one turner can't do it without chain pushes. It's, it's a 13 move uh, catcher. Scratch what I said. Oh, yeah, they start with sprint these days. Yeah, yeah. That's, ju that's enough. Yes. At least they're no longer movement nine as they were, well, not that long ago. Yeah. And now that was insulting to Skaven. <laughs> now Skaven feels very different, eh? A bit better now. But yeah, let's talk about fouling a little. You really want you really want to make that armor roll be five plus. So it's like two assists and dirty player or three assists against uh, armor seven. Yes. Dream is gonna go for a one die on the ogre. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's sneaky. But it's well played, actually. It's an agility 3 carrier, so uh, it, those things are always worth it, typically. But uh, that was a huge risk. Had to reroll the first go for it of the 3. Humans totally left themselves open for that. Damn! Yeah, I was asking, uh, wondering a few minutes ago why he didn't move the ball to a cage in the midfield. He didn't lose anything. There were no leapers around. So I didn't quite know why he did it. So and I think Danton now needs an agility 3 roll of some kind to get out of there. I think humans might be tempted to just fall back and block everyone away from the thrower, except for that wrestle on that catcher. Anton is thinking. He's gonna blitz with the catcher and just try to pass the ball. Uh, actually, he has enough people to just bring a, make a good cage. One turner, and uh, it's not going down. <laughs> Now he can move the carrier and even try to pass the ball. Risky though. That's a 4 plus. Nah, he's gonna cage up as I thought. Yeah, it makes m much more sense than passing, yeah.
So you see majesty when you were saying that Danton has an easy job. <laughs> it's all relative. Yes, agree, Majesty. I think he should have caged in the middle, uh, in the midfield earlier, instead of moving the ball back. Yeah. Yes. Dauntless. Rerolling that. Oh, they have that many rerolls. Never mind. Yes, he had still all four. Shouldn't have to move that agility for Blitzer forward next turn if he wants to avoid a three plus roll before scoring. I'm curious to see if Elsa are gonna try to wrestle him down or just hope for a pal. The thing is, Danton is limiting his options for a turn 8 score. I mean, he has, he doesn't have that many players that can move in two turns at TD range. Yep. Now it's all down to whether the strength 4 elf can power him down. Well done. <laughs> he kicked the kicker. Just not giving a break. Three chaos, three cas. the agility forward. Interesting. I guess Elsa just gonna mark the agility for blitzer. What? Yeah. <laughs> Not even that. Maybe with a catcher but still it's a restless a wrestle one. With no sidestep. Oh okay this is just this is just silly. Yeah, he's just uh, putting his hopes in uh, in the one turner probably. He he probably has decided that has no chance to stop Danton. I think he still had a chance to stop him, to be honest, or at least force a three plus roll, handoff or, or similar. But uh, yeah, Dream is basically giving up it seems. Yes, well, I agree. With no bribes, uh, have to be careful when you do that in the turn. I just so don't agree with that elven turn. They could have, mm, well, multiple marked, well, blitzed the other lineman back and multiple marked the blitzer. Yes. Not this. But, as you say, perhaps they're putting all their hopes into the one turning. In which case it's a bad idea for them to leave him out in the open, near the dirty player. Just saying. Yes, we'll see what happens. But, if Danton decides to blitz that uh, catcher... Yeah, he may have to be careful with his cage, uh, how he closes it next turn. Okay, he can bleach with the Lino, tackle wrestle Lino. 
difícil enough. What I'm curious to see is if the humans are going to risk a pass in order to get a level on the thrower. With a, with a 2-1 or 1-0 at mid-half uh, risk? I wouldn't dare to do an SPP uh, thingy. <laughs> but we'll see. No, he's not going for the one turner. He's going for the strength four. And it doesn't go down. So, can the ogre take down the catcher who might otherwise wrestle the blitzer down next turn? Yeah, it's gonna be uh, interesting to see where he puts the ball now. I guess in the middle of those three pieces. Oh no, he hands over obviously. He can go out of reach but the catcher can still do something about it. <laughs> not risking the past then. No. But the catcher can do something about it. That catcher can still uh, break the ball down. If yeah, if the ogre can't get him down, then... Yeah. No way. Strip ball, don't let's wrestle. You think, Majesty? That, that catcher can put the ball down, huh? Easily. Here's what I've been eyeing all this time. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the, uh, the bleacher can just as well get up next turn, pick up the ball and score because Dreamy may not have an easy option to secure the ball after it's loose, but uh, I think Danton had a better option than this. Well, his thrower can still get in there. Huh. Ah, good move. That was a good move. Okay, now it becomes, now it becomes hard. He needed a 3 plus dodge. Uh, huh. Now it becomes a question of whether he yeah. wants to reroll the dodge or save it for the one turn. He's used the apothecary already, so I will just uh, leave it stand. Yeah. I will not. Uh, I will just click end of turn. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have used it on a line man. But that that catch is gonna go hard down uh, next turn if he doesn't do anything about it. There is a mighty blue, mighty blue tackle hit behind it. So he has the option between doing nothing and receiving that mighty blue tackle hit or, or moving the catcher out with a 3 plus with a no dodge scale applied. Oh, chain push! Nice! Oh, that's, that's so ballsy. Yeah! Chain push, nice! Let's see the result. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty. That was a very good move. Yeah. A bit less than 50-50 chance of that working out. Yeah. I'm, I mean, there could have been, well, a skull or both down. Either would have ruined that. Okay, tackle is still applied to that catcher. So, um, it will be interesting to see if he needs to use it, uh, the reroll or not. Expected bleach. Yeah, the and ball down. Ah, that's that's the wrong direction 
for the thrower to be able to reach it. Yes, he could have made it uh, easier for the other throwers, for the catcher, actually. Yeah, well, just, he's just gonna go with the catcher. Huh. No, the catcher has moved already. The only piece left he's got to move, I think, is the thrower. Yeah, but he's gonna go with the blitz, with the catcher who blitzed. Hmm. Yeah, the catcher cannot reach. Still has movement left, he needs to get the ball. Ah! Ah, this, the is, the, this is the choice time. He's used the reroll, so he cannot do a one turner now. Let's see what Danton can do with that. Well, I mean, when I say yeah, he cannot do the one turner, he still can do it. It's just that it's gonna be a match. Uh, yeah, safe. That's the big, that was the big decision moment whether to reroll or not. Using the reroll was probably not, I think, I mean, thinking it through, maybe not that useful because even if he catched the ball, he could, he would have been put down this turn anyways. Like so. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have used the reroll probably on second thought. And how it goes. It's not the one turner though. Spray, uh, yeah, good catch. I mean, pick up. So, one one, and we'll see uh, a possible one turner attempt next turn. Equalizer just before the mid time with Dreamy having one turn to do a one turner. Okay, three chaos get up, so four players down. It means Dreamy has eight players to do one turner, which is not bad. Let's see. No sure hands, so he doesn't need to fail a single of his rolls. Yes, Ali. Uh, either a rock or um, perfect defense or something like that. Or, uh, or blitz. Yeah, Squall, he might because he's got the assistant coach and the uh, cheerleader, so... Against the pure one turner who can do it by himself, there's not much you can defense wise do. Yeah. I just try to make them roll as many dice as possible and hope for the best. Yeah, setting the pieces all the way back, no? In a line uh, of tackle zones. Yeah, humans are just trying to make it hard for them to get any extra pushes. So it comes down to those uh, GFIs. That's right, so Dreamy probably will try to make at least one push or two to avoid uh, uh, one, di I mean one die rolls. It's much better to do a two die block uh, with a push than, uh, than a one die go for it. 
Basically, it comes down to a pickup roll, yeah. pass, catch, perhaps another catch, but those have re rolls of their own. So basically, it's 2 plus 4 pickup, then 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 the GFIs. There she is, Hanna Solo on Dreamy's uh, right flank. And he won't be able to do any chain push by the looks of his setup. Yeah. So the two throwers back and the catcher, the other catcher probably in the middle. Does Danton have kick? Uh, yes, he does. I guess now is when Dreamy must be wondering why he didn't choose accurate for, no? <laughs> for some of his throwers. Even even without a reroll, the elves are still at only slightly less than 50% chance of making this work. Yeah, the three go for it basically, no? The pickup. Making things hard. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, ca I cannot see where the ball will land, but I presume it's somewhere on Dreamy's left flank. Yeah, I'm watching from the human side. Yeah, me too. Um, so what I mean is uh, Danton's right flank somewhere. But, but I cannot really say if he's kicked shallow or deep. To be honest, I probably deep. So, so if he's kicked deep, then uh, Blitz loses a bit of value. Um, he needs to kill that uh, one turner uh, right there. He needs to bleach that so one. So much. Yeah. Yeah, he has to blitz him. If he doesn't blitz him, but just marks him, then he can get chain pushes going. So what is his what is his nearest tackle here? Oh, in the middle, right? Yeah, easy. And just pushing him uh, one tile back is enough. Yeah, even a both down would do because he has wrestle. Mm. So that was pretty much that. Indeed. And down it goes with mighty blow. Let's see. Ah, just done. Yes. Oh, this well, is the perfect yeah. opportunity. This Sorry, would Jerry. be the perfect opportunity to foul some more. Unfortunately, no one is in range. At least no one meaningless enough to be used uh, for a foul. No, basically, yeah. He just he just has the extra bench. That makes things uh, very interesting for the second half because that's gonna be a uh, dreamy receiving with uh, half a team, well, uh, a team of eight, which is not too bad for Elves. No tree though. Yes, Ali. Um, that's what I would do. Easier said than done, though. <laughs> Stalling with elves, uh, with eight players against a full eleven uh, like this, and no three. It's a tough proposition, but it can be done, certainly. Nine is not bad for elves. No, it can be done. Let's remember that uh, Danton has one of the mighty blow tackles out, no? uh, one casualty, yes. And Dreamy has tons of blots or roach, so even eight players or nine if the war dancer comes back could be quite uh, feasible for him to stall a 2-1 elf grind.
<laughs> yes, Charlie. It happens a lot. Yes. Yes. I mean, it's, it's much easier said than done, obviously. You should try to stall with elves, especially when you are in down in numbers. Uh, the wrong one die roll will will mean you lose basically. One failed dodge or one failed catch or pass, and then you completely expose against a team like uh, Dantons. Yeah, interesting comment, uh, Majesty. Yeah, no tree. Then uh, what's the value of the ogre? In? Well, yeah. Especially with a team like this, full of blotch and dodge. But, uh, Yeah, it's a bit of a trade-off, I'll say. The, the ogre could be really good uh, to be part of a corner cage, for example. Not so good to uh, put down a, a blotch or rotched pieces. And the war dancer doesn't come back. So it's an 8-piece team for uh, Dreamy, second half. It's going to be hard for him to stall. Yes. <laughs> Daisy War Dancer indeed. Well, at least Dreamy may have the, uh, the draw in his hand. He's got the option between uh, trying to stall, which is a risk with 8, and losing the game altogether, or he can score relatively fast with the one turner, or anybody else for that matter, and then uh, try to secure the draw. So, yeah, uh, Dream should go down one side heavily, try to get a, some kind of a stalling cage going, just three turns might buy him enough time yeah limiting how much time Danton has to score back uh, but at least uh, his goal should be trying to secure a, a TD uh, for, for the worst case scenario of a draw I, if you decide to keep the ball back and stall I mean heavily then uh, then you risk losing the whole thing me thinks that that war dancer going KO for the whole match that's so big I think humans should go more aggressive right now, one step forwards, so just pushes on the line of scrimmage people wouldn't get them into the, wouldn't give a g easy dodging zone for the elves. Yeah, it, it wouldn't, yes. No, this setup by Danton is the classic one against uh, elves or Skaven. If you don't manage to get the loss down yeah. properly, then you cannot go through. Uh, and even if you do go through, you are stuck in the middle where uh, Danton 
pieces can uh, really um, jam uh, the receivers. Yeah, I'm just thinking that with so few players on the eleven side, um, and they know they can't last too long, he should well move forwards because he knows they can't commit too many people to the line of scrimmage just yeah. or elsewhere just to get them down. Oh, you mean setting everything like this, but uh, one one row forward? Yes, yes. Yeah. Because then, if they get pushes on the line of scrimmage, it still makes things troublesome. Yes. Just because of the tackle zones and uh, stuff. Yeah, and the ogre and the loss, as uh, Majesty says, could have been useful. Yeah. Well, that helps. Oh, else. it did it, it go out? No. All right, with the riot going, I'm expecting a draw out of this. Yeah, I it, need it to be going now. There's this girl's going to sleep over here, so... You know. Alright, thank you <laughs> for your comments. Yes, I'll check the end result tomorrow at work. Alrighty, thank you, Juriel. Hope you come back again. Anytime. Of course, what I'm hoping is some more dead elves, but you know. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, hopefully uh, Dreamy uh, gets a draw out of this. Uh, I mean, at least try to use that riot to his advantage. It's gonna be interesting. Cheers. Oh, one more thing. If the elves do score now, even if the humans score back, then it's the whole one turning thing again. again. Yes. And, uh, if they can just. Unless the humans are willing to accept the draw. Dreamy just rolls the first uh, double skulls of the game. He had to use a reroll there, so only two left. The ball is in the side of the Agility 4 Blitzer on Danton's side, so... Thank you, Travel Scrabble. See you. Well, Dreamy has only 8 players, but he has a Strength 4 Lino, which... Uh, is useful in order not to have to use too many players in bleaching, so that's gonna be of help. And he's going to pick up probably with the 10 movement player. And it looks he's going to stall. had to use a reroll for that block and the loss so hopefully he can pick up yes one more SPP and it levels up actually so one more skill for that uh, one turner which my guess is it will be sidestep next but um, being a pure one turner doesn't really need it no I think uh, you can only have two uh, increases majesty as far as I'm aware, I may be wrong. That's right, Squall. Again, since Leve and um, Juriel had to go, uh, by all means, if somebody wants to jump in and uh, chat with me, that'll be great. I feel so alone here now. I can talk occasionally if you like. Uh, who's that? I didn't see you. Oh, it's school. Yeah, welcome. 
Or evil school on the other chat. Yes. I'm a uh, normal school out of game and evil school in game. And this is your first Crunch Cup, uh, right, Squall? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I've uh, won one, drawn one, stupid tiles. <laughs> Was it me who introduced you to the Crunch Cup? Uh, you're learning from me? Or, uh, or no? Uh, I learned the Crunch Cup off you, yeah. Uh, I think I saw ah, okay. uh, the Bubble Tactics forum quite a lot, but <laughs> yeah. For those of you who don't know Squall, he is uh, also a patron in the OFL League, which I also play in, uh, and then also in UKBBL, Squall, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I'm um, just in the conference at the moment now. Alright, so far it seems Danton is not moving too aggressively. Um. Maybe he's waiting for them to make the move. Yeah, probably. I mean, if, if he ever commits, uh, it's gonna be for sure a 2 1 from Dreamy. So he's moving back in the middle as a safety, the tackle wrestle line, no? Try and steal the ball near the end. the agility for bleacher forward we'll see okay he's gonna hit the uh, the guard kick line probably with his blitz yes here he comes my blow more pushes well I guess Danton cannot complain on the cast front too much uh, but uh, yeah yeah the knocking down people he can a little but the arm breaks are pretty good Agility 4 and tackle piece forward, pressuring the ball. Dream is gonna have to find a way to protect that ball carrier somehow. And it looks the, his left flank may be safer ish. Mm, there's not much. Not many people can reach the left bottom corner if he wants to run there, I suppose. Yeah. Danton is not over committing just yet but uh, just enough to make sure he has a bleed option unless Dribby does something to prevent it yeah number 14 there can reach anywhere on the pitch pretty much uh, you mean Dribby's player or Danton's player sorry uh, the, the human catcher just moved oh yes Bleach the yeah okay the catcher <laughs> he may want to put a cage uh, past the loss on his right flank Trimmy. he has the move to do it as long as he can put down that catcher uh, which uh, yeah he's thinking about using the wrestle or not he finally decides not to do it. So it's going to be difficult for him now to put a cage or a screen uh, in his right flank. He's going to have to stay back or on the right wing somehow. I think if he cages on that right then he's going to have problems with uh, people sort of getting surrounded with all that tackle. Yeah. And not even a ward answers the leap his way to victory. 
Yeah, no, he needs to keep his uh, lines uh, stretched. If he commits to a cage, then uh, Danton has uh, his life easier in terms of uh, where to move. Yeah, if he strings them all across the pitch, then what gives him three turns to score, maybe? Was that a pass? <laughs> no. It was just a handoff. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's looking for S S <laughs> PP at the moment. I was going to say, yeah, uh, he's got some there. He can do a sideline cage, but I'm not. I mean, I would be surprised if he does that. Oh my god, he's doing it. No. That's. <coughs> yeah. I mean, it's a risky proposition. Obviously, you move the ball forward, so that helps. But uh, these sideline cages are the easiest to, to shut down. Uh, once you throw one of these players d uh, down or out, then you just mark the heck of that ball carrier, and there is nowhere he can go. Now, having said that, this is a 10 MA player, so uh, he may have some options after that. The player hasn't got dodged there, has he? Which one? Sorry? Oh, the movement, oh, the movement 10 does, sorry, yeah, I forgot. Of course, it's a catcher. I was thinking, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a catcher, yeah. I was thinking high off again. I've got them on the mind since I've got another one this week. Yeah. Well, he's put up, Dreamy has put a proper screen on the side, so, yeah. Um, Danton doesn't have it easy to shut down that sideline cage now. It's a double screen. Uh, his best option is to bleach from the back now, which is not optimum when you have a, a movement 10 player ahead of you. <laughs> and Bonehead. Still relying still relying on 3 GFI is, uh, yeah, it's, it's not a given. 2 in this case, yeah, but still it's risky. And leaving Danton uh, plenty of time to equalize. That's one thing he doesn't have any uh, dive uh, tackle. Danton, yes. Indeed. Either side, I don't think. My guess is that he's gonna start bleaching the strength for with a mighty blow or tackle somewhere and then try to put some um, columns ahead of this um, sideline cage. Danton is fond of columns. Doesn't have many players to do it though. Because most of them are ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah. Doesn't look like he's yeah. bleaching the strength four though. He may be bleaching from the back, after all. Columns will be there, but it looks like he's gonna be bleaching from the back. Yeah, it'll be hard for him to get through next turn. Hmm, he's gonna need a go for it if he wants to close those columns properly. Because the only player yeah, has left. Yeah, 15. <laughs> yeah, the strength 4 on the uh, player 15, yeah, it's easy to take out. So you can then run through the gap. Here it comes, the blitz from the back. Against the thrower. Which doesn't go down, damn it. <laughs> and uh, Danton is not going to be able to mark that ball carrier. So he's going to have to rely on the um, on the columns. Unless he rerolls this block, which is a possibility. But he knows he needs a reroll to shut down the columns on the back. He needs a go for it for that lino on the left, Father Bob. Otherwise he won't be able to shut down the columns.
Jing, we are in turn 11 already. So he rerolls the block. And now it goes down. Now yes. Okay. Interesting, because that means that uh, he's going to have to do a go for it. Uh, for the columns, I think. There you go. Let's see if he can do it. One go for it. Excellent. Columns in place. No worries. Hmm. He has put them all on this side of the pitch. Can anyone <laughs> yes. the elves get away on the other side? Absolutely. Yeah. Good comment. Yeah, he's ever committing to that side. And um, the, uh, the ogre is bonehead, which I think he loses his tackle zones, right? Uh, when he's boneheaded? Yeah. So, yeah, Dreamy can somehow reposition, but he's got tackle applied to the carrier and uh, he has a narrow path to get out of there. That catcher 14 in the middle, right next to that second column, can get all the way across the pitch at the back there. Yes, he does. He could just retreat if he hands off to that thrower and then retreats back into the left again and then try and stall again for a longer period of time. Yeah, he's gonna go left. Um, he won't probably get more far away than slightly beyond the middle of the pitch though uh, and, and uh, quite close to the ogre. But still, he's still got a good uh, stalling uh, situation here. He, he can still make it. That catcher needs to um, to dodge out though. Although Dreamy could use his strength for the glitch. Could blitz out. Yeah. Or the uh, block guard kick line as well. No, he uses his strength for. I think to help get the other guy up as well. Yeah. Indeed. Now he can move all his pieces. Subject to tackle though, but uh, he can move them all. Which is always good for elves. And he keeps the strength for in that side. Okay, interesting. Well, at least he forces Danton to uh, take care of many angles next turn. So they move. I think he's going to throw it to the other catcher, maybe. Yes, so handoff, probably. Closing the cage. Oh, yes, movement 10 that catches. <laughs> I keep forgetting. And then he can use Lino number 2, which is by the, bo by the Bonehead Ogre, to close the other side of the cage, or at least green slightly on that side. He can actually close the cage with that Lino completely. Not that he really needed it, but. Uh... Oh no, he's on a block. Okay. Until she gets a block out of this. <laughs> yes, good turn indeed, loophole. That was a very good turn. Yeah, it did, he did overcommit slightly when he did that. Danton's tackle players. Oh bugger. <laughs> oh yeah, dear. all of them about as far away as possible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One's in the injury box, I think that's the closest. <laughs> that's mean. <laughs> no, he's actually the long the farther away, no? He's on the other side. Yeah, okay, but still. Yeah. Do you think the ogre could go for it for a laugh and have a go at him? Why not? Um, with Bonehead, I don't think Danton will risk it though. 
he he wants to get a real deal here and he may be using wrestle well actually he doesn't need it because the two liners there and the catcher have wrestle already defending the ball so There's no way he can uh, form proper columns here. No. Oh wait, <laughs> maybe he does. Not proper ones. No, only one piece on the wing. Strength to it, that isn't it? Yeah. With wrestle, so it'll go down as well. Yeah, Dreamy should be able to go through if he wants to do that. I mean, it's turn 12. Um, he could try to find a way to stall one more turn. But um, yeah, that, that should be Danton's play. He should force Dreamy to decide to score now. Four turns should be plenty for Tanton to uh, equalize the game. Thing is that the way well, things you never know when a blitz. Sorry, go ahead. You never know when a blitz result or <laughs> a mass crowd stunning will uh, happen. Oh, so look at that! You were right. He's going. Uh, he's going for it with the ogre. Two go for it included. <laughs> <laughs> Defender down. Ah, well done, Danto. There you go. My play is awesome. Yes. Absolutely spectacular. Yeah, wrong place for the wrong place for the ball to be though. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, I never thought Danto would do this, but why not? I mean, you, you have the turn the the touchdown in the pocket uh, for Dreamy, so uh, why not risk it, you know? Uh, a loner roll plus two go for it, why not? Yeah, no, I, I, saw, I saw it was in range and thought, uh, I'll go for it, but then again, that's me. <laughs> yes, no, yes, Majesty, if you have an ogre, you need to use him. Uh, who was the one saying that uh, he shouldn't have lined up the ogre? In this? <laughs> Somebody mentioned that uh, with the tree out, you don't need the ogre anymore. <laughs> Who was that? I think that's the most successful I've ever seen a big guy be, apart Excellent. from not killing the catcher. Yeah. Epic blitz by that oh, by that uh, ogre. He should get the MVP, man. If uh, Danton managed to uh, to win this one. He hasn't got any jump up either, has he? No. Uh, the Wood Elves. Yeah. Man, I'm just imagining the jump of joy Danton must have done in his chair after that bleach. <laughs> I think he just had a heart attack, to be honest. Yeah, I think I could hear the, uh, the yeah from here, from Buenos Aires. <laughs> well, probably could get that line off the catch, uh, pick it up, throw it to the strength 4-1. Can the strength 4-1 get in? Mm. Yeah. It's not a three plus, though, is it? It's a. I, I can't remember the throwing ranges. It might only be a four plus throw. Um, uh, and to pass uh, with whom to whom again? Sorry, Squall. Uh, the line elf on. And the ogre dodges out, picks up the ball, throws it. Oh, just yes, from there, it will be a, it will be a three plus. It's a six tiles distance with interception uh, chance on top. Oh, he's blocking with that one. Oh, the the thrower can pick it up if he blocks the ogre off. Yeah, I think that's what he's trying to do. He 
he can also get that blitzer out of the way, sorry, the lino, um, before doing that. Father Bob. Yes, he could blitz that guy down, yeah, and then run through. That was a one die on the ogre with uh, Rizal, so fair enough. No, it doesn't go down. Or yes, with Rizal, sorry. Got Rizal, I'll take the down, yeah. Absolutely. Get him down. Absolutely. And now, here it comes. He could actually do another sideline cage if he wanted to do so. <laughs> Don't know if he'll risk that again, but I will see. Yeah. After the heroics of that ogre, jeez. But the humans are on this side again. What? He's not moved that. Uh, he's risking the 3 plus pass. Alright. Well, yeah. Okay. He, prefer he preferred that to the uh, dodge of the uh, thrower. So now, 2 go for it for, for a score. Yes, Ali. Uh, Dreamy doesn't have any ac accurate. Uh, his uh, Dreamy has decided to go uh, for massive uh, spam of uh, blotch or rotch in his team, including the throwers. <laughs> God, he is going for a cage. Yes. <laughs> One more turn. It's a four strength player with block, so it's the safest piece he's got to, to carry the ball now. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why, I, I can't deal with all the stalling, I have to just score as soon as I can, but yeah. that escape him in me, I think. Now, to close that sideline cage, he needs a go for it. Unless he just goes. one hasn't happened yet, has it? Yeah, he only needs to screen, really. He doesn't really need to go for it, but he's gonna do it, I think. Yeah. And uh, and that cage, that sideline cage, which in theory are very risky because they can be shut down very easily. It's not that bad of a problem because it's so close to the TD that um, even if it's shut down from the front. All Dreamy needs probably to do is dodge out back and then go around it. So Danton needs to be very very careful how he positions his pieces next. Yeah, I think the humans just about can make him at least make some difficult rolls. Next with Wood Elves, he's got, he's got a lot of scoring pieces in range. Yeah. Is that uh, movement 10 catch is just behind as well? Yeah, I mean, three turns is still about right for Danton to score. But he needs to make sure he puts Dream in a position such that uh, he has no choice but to score next. Or, or fail, fail, or fail in it, yes. I think the best the humans can look at at the moment is probably a draw though. Most likely, but uh, Danton is moving his pieces right so far, he's trying to block the sideline cage uh, from the side and hopefully he'll bleach from the front, or at least block the front side of that sideline cage. Yeah, here he goes. And the down, and he's gonna be applying a guard There's tackle no. on the strength four. Now that strength four can bleed its way out on its own with no support, so 
Anton's gonna need some more help. There you go. One more. That means uh, three plus dodges for uh, for the carrier if he wants to go that way. At the very least. Yeah, he might just he might just be able to come backwards and uh, give it to that movement ten. Yeah, that's what I meant. That the sideline cage that close to the TD line is is much more feasible now. Lanton needs to block all avenues, not just the front, but also the side and possibly somewhere in the back as well. Now, who else is in range? The, is this thrower number 15 in range? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yes. Thrower number 7 in the middle of the field uh, is also a 2 go for it from scoring. So uh, that's another annoyance for Danton. And if he pulls too many players across, then maybe he can stall another turn. Yeah, obviously the the one turner is there also in range. One go for it. Two go for it for the thrower. And the carrier himself. So, yeah. The score is probably a given, uh, it's just uh, how clear Trivi decides that's the case for next turn. Well, there's always a double one. Yeah. Indeed. He marked the one turner yet. I think uh, he's used all his pieces in the area, right? Yeah. If he puts one across in the middle, at least one turn has to make a couple of dodges in between uh, the side cage and that guy marking the person down. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. Well, that's double one. Yes, first double one of the game, I think. If I'm not mistaken. I think that's means some single ones that people haven't re-rolled. Yeah. Now the question is, will Dreamy find a way to stall one more turn? What turns this match on, by the way? Say that again, sorry? What turn is the match on? I'm just waiting for oh. it to load. 14, um, uh, Dreamy's turn 14. So a couple of turns left for this game. So I guess Dreamy now is just trying to find out if there is a, a feasible way to stall or if he has to go for the score. I think it'd be... <laughs> he might not get a touchdown if he attempts another stall. Yeah. But there you go. So he's gonna probably hand off. He's just getting a block. Yeah, he's gonna hand off to the one turner. Yeah, and only one GFI needed, I think. Yes, he needs to dodge out with tackle though, so he has a chance of uh, having to use two rerolls. <laughs> Just stand in the way. Oh no, he didn't. No, That's no, right. he, he can, can go over. right. He can go diagonal right. Oh, why? No, he didn't. He's gonna stall, or he's gonna just why? He's gonna try to stall again. Okay, let's see. He's got one more line to move to screen that. Uh, sorry, two liners more to move to sc try to screen that catcher. Okay, but it is a dauntless catcher. Oh, they're both strength two, aren't they? 
Yes, at best. I mean, what what Dream is trying is to offer Danton at one die blitz at best. Let's see if he manages that. What reroll to be used there? And uh, another snake eyes. Second one, back to back, basically. <laughs> That gets yeah, interesting we're, now. We're waiting for them. Interesting, yeah. Danton may have to use a 3 plus dodge uh, to get uh, to that ball safely. Yes, one die wrestle bleach, but then he cannot get the ball safely after that. He can get he, he may get the ball down but not many options for, for him to pick up the ball in the same turn. I think Blitz with the uh, yeah dirty player there. I think is that that's a blitz, yeah. It, it may be a two day blitz, but uh, he needs a bow. Whereas the catcher only needs a No, Russell will bring him down. Russell will no. bring him down. Well, not with the uh, not with the line, no. What I would do if I was dreamy is to uh, not just wrestle, and then it's a turnover for Danton, and I just go ahead and, and, and score with my thrower, if need be. No, that's true. Obviously, you risk the one turner getting an injury, but uh, hey. <laughs> no, one turner's not for any use to him anymore. Yeah, the decision is who to bleach with. I, I will probably bleach with the uh, catcher because of the both down uh, option with Rizzo. And then try to pick it up with the Lino if the ball is down. And somehow maybe uh, pass the ball to somebody here. But uh, Danton is moving his pieces right. He's trying to block all the uh, possible pick up options for next turn for Dreamy. That that thrower though is is the problem for the most part. Yeah one died but that's about fifty percent chance on that blitz I think. With the reroll. Ooh come on one more yes now that's the perfect ball, ca ball carrier to have if, if you can uh, get the ball to him. So uh, let's see. That's a two day block. Picking bullets from behind as well. Here he comes. Oh, reroll. Coming. Reroll coming. Yes. Push, push. Reroll two. Defender down. Attack it. Yeah, defender down, attack down, yeah. There you go. And KO, it goes. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> now, now he has to dodge with the, uh, with the line, no? Well, he can continue moving, right? Without a reroll. No, he, he can continue moving with the catcher. That's it. He can... He, Yes, that's right, he can cover the ball. And now he has to try the uh, 3 plus dodge uh, with the line not to block the avenue uh, of, of entry for the thrower on the left. Does he do that or does he run in the other way so he gets a chance to score himself? Mm. Currently he only has two turns to score and he, after this and he'll need that guy down the other end otherwise he's got no one in position to score. Yeah, question is how, um, that thrower can just come in and pick up the ball with a 3 plus dodge and a 3 plus pick up so it's a bit of a risk, I'll just block the avenue and that's what he's doing, he's blocking the avenue so that thrower one all draw is going for them, I don't, don't pick up that hope for much more don't pick up, stay there, stay put yes, he's staying put Now, Dreamy probably is going to have to try some kind of push of players so the ball moves around because the way it is is probably not possible to pick it up 
easily. Now if he manages to push somebody, it might be easier. What is the strength for player? He's got a lot of three plus dodges to try that. Yes. Not easy for Dreamy now. Yeah. Or he takes a two block uh, dice against on the linesman and hope you push him into the ball and the ball goes off. Yes, that's that's what yeah, exactly, that's something like that. Pushing somebody that pushes the ball. And see what happens. Probably his last chance. Um, which one of them is the human team, by the way? Uh, Danton. Hmm. Danton can't I'm score now, I don't think. That's it, that's to go for a draw. Impossible for him to score, yes, because he has no players in, uh, in range, so it has to be a draw for him. Three plus dodge <laughs> and pushing the line on the ball. Done. Yes, that's right. And let's see what where the ball goes. Oh, sorry, two dikes of guard, Mr. Guard. Yeah. That thrower guard is coming very handy here. A lot better than accurate, I think they say. Not even, a, not even a strong arm. Okay, Ooh. so he's left the ball put. Interesting. Yeah, I'm sure he had a... I don't know if he was, if he, if that was the plan all along, or if he changed his mind uh, when he got the result of the blitz. He knows Danton cannot score, so he knows he still have a uh, It's an interesting turn. one. I, th I think I would have attempted it and push him on, hope the ball goes my way, because if he can't score then why All not? right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh crazy, crazy. <laughs> nice though. Yeah, he didn't want to push the ball, he just uh, wanted to risk the 3 plus pickup. Well, some dodges in there as well. Yes, but at least he is managing the risk, he knows what the risk it is. And pushing the ball, it's, uh, you know, unpredictable what could happen there. The ball might have been thrown to the opposite side of the field, you know, if worst, worst case scenario. Ah, yeah, but he's fast enough to go and pick it up, uh, then throw it to another player and run it in anyway. Maybe. Crazy elf bullshit, Mr. Drake. Um, yeah, but, I mean, I've seen crazier. Huh? We're talking about 3 plus dodges and 3 plus uh, pickups, huh? so uh, it's not that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But there was, there was a fair amount of them. Uh, yes. I think it was a 3 plus and a 2 plus, then another 3 plus, 3 plus, or something like that. Yeah, we'll have to play the uh, Samba calculator through that one <laughs> on the last turn. So we needed, yeah, 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, which he failed, got the dodge, and then the 3 plus after that. <laughs> uh, not terribly likely, but worth a shot, I suppose. Danton has two turns now. Uh, yeah, and what we got? 
Eight players. Ugh, pretty hard task. <laughs> and, the and the war dancer can't be bothered. <laughs> He'll get the MVP, obviously. Is there not anyone who's died? Sorry? I think it'll be the tree, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's always a player that dies that gets it, so I'll just wait for one of the wood elves to die next turn to finish it off. <laughs> it's a good end for a match. It can't be the war dancer though, that's a real shame. Well, the one turn is a much uh, interesting target for a, for, a, for a death in this scenario. That war dancer is just a boxy tackle one, you know. Yeah, I've just got <laughs> hatred of war dancers, doesn't matter what type of war <laughs> dancer it is. Yeah, that's true. Well, I got I got mined uh, with a minus agility yesterday, you know. Um, oh, was, I killed was, one earlier season, didn't I? Yeah, it was not a boxy one, this one. Uh, tackle, sidestep, uh, diving tackle. So, and the one in OFL, I, I, she died in the second game I had I guess, against the Chaos Dwarves. Strength 4, Mighty Blow, Frenzy, Tackle, Sidestep. Superstar, I think. I think it lasted, it lasted, yeah. me, it lasted me two games. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Return, actually. <laughs> yes. Yes, Majesty. Well, he's got two Agility 4 players there, so he has a decent chance. No, I'm just waiting for the Blitz now to sew it all up. Whoa, no. <laughs> Shame. This is preventing us from having two more nice turns to enjoy. So, uh, Danton has... Uh, lost the game here basically due to this riot two riots for the wood elves in the second half uh, that's that's it yeah well with the elves being I hate it when stalling wins I hate it when stalling wins I want people to win <laughs> otherwise well we got one oh, more well. turn and uh, yeah I think Danton's opportunities are out um, at this stage Can he get a sneaky attack on the one turner? Where is she? Or where is he? Okay. Uh. Uh, not really. They have to hit the other one. Another catcher. Well, yeah. No, he, yeah, he can make a path. Uh, behind the loss. Yeah. We have the lino that hits that guy to the floor. And then he can hit him. Look, look at us, I mean, plotting how to kill a, a perfectly good one-turner, come on, shame on us. Uh, that's what I generally do, <laughs> <laughs> plot of the death. <laughs> I think he's going for the stamp, maybe, he's picking one on the side. I mean, he could reach the one-turner with the bleacher number one, Father Sin Smasher, as long as he could clear the loss. First. Yeah, you could just go for go for the uh, crazy dodges and do it anyway. <laughs> he hasn't used the apothecary card yet, no? hasn't he? No. Uh, no, no. They have uh, the, uh, the elves wood elves up there. Mm -hmm. I only need one pass for a level up on that throw. Yes, 15 SPP. So, coming. So I think he might attempt that. Yeah. So with this loss, Danton's team uh, really starts uh, getting uh, relegated from the fight for the uh, top spots, but uh, still six games to play, so he has some chances. Dreamy had a draw in the first game, so uh, 
getting back up to the top positions after this win. No major losses or casualties for any teams. Oh, he's got him. And Thrower got stand. Where is the dirty player? Has moved already, yeah. Can actually find him. Oh, he was the one assisting, sorry, yeah. And here comes the foul, I guess. Turn 16, friendly foul. Yeah, he got a foul of the Wood Elf. He's taking his re-roll, so he's going to foul first. <laughs> oh no, he's not. Okay. Last block. Ooh, he has to use it. Yeah, he has to use the re-roll. Oh no, he has, he has no re-rolls. he used it already. He has no re-rolls, yes? Yeah, he used it over the... Oh, no foul. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, certainly very tactically astute that one. Yes, uh, some comments there about uh, how Danton handled the first um, the first half, uh, how he kept the ball back and gave uh, Dreamy a chance to score. Uh, probably uh, he'll be commenting on that on the forum at some point, I presume. Um, other than he that, had uh, tree rage. That, that's what happens. Yes. Just tree rage. <laughs> that tree foul was excellent, to be honest. You know. He worked out pretty well, and I'm sure Danton thought that uh, the game was uh, going well at that point with the uh, initial cast. But uh, yeah, keeping the ball back like that, it would probably um, uh, bite him in the back, I guess. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Well for his opponents. Sorry? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I said it worked out for his next opponent because I think it was a missed next game, that uh, foul on that tree. That's true, yeah. That tree is uh, it's not going to be playing next game, yeah. Any other comments, guys? Otherwise, we'll just switch off. Yeah, no, I'm done. Um, see you all on the forums, I guess. Yes, thank you, Squall. Hopefully, you'll come back for more of this. Uh, I'll come back to listen. I won't comment on. Oh. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. I'm gonna stop the broadcast now, and I'll uh, hopefully upload it uh, um, shortly. Cheers.